I'm gonna be 100% honest. I've been wanting to do this for quite some time now. Hold on. I know the video is just starting off, but we're we're just gonna jump right into it. To be honest, you guys saw the the, the picture on my Instagram. You shout out to Poppin' Clutches. This was probably a year ago, maybe. I went down there, and he let me put his 26 by 16s on my truck. Okay. Now you guys know that Jake up here at Southern Tire has some 26 by 16 KG1 Aristos and some 35 inch Furies on his truck. Jake's trying to sell them. These wheels and tires are for sale. And I've really been debating, you know, just making a trade, because I know he wants 28s. He wants to do something different. And I, I, I've been on the same, I've been on the same setup for years now. Literally, probably three or four years. And I'm ready for something new. Now I know you guys know I'm partnering with Nitto, so if I did this, I'd have to go a different route on tires. But the point today is I just want to see what it looks like. I want to see if there's if there's a possibility that I really want these, and this is the only way to know for sure. And I'm trying to convince him to let me put these on the truck to go meet up with Mel tomorrow. That would be would be crazy if I pulled up on Mel. Say Mel, shout out on some 26 by 16s. We'll see how that goes. I got some jacks, got my snap-on shit. Let's swap some wheels, see how it goes. Let's get this bread. Reaction though. It looks like shit on mine. For sure. That looks like shit. Your truck looks really good. I didn't even put the back one on because I'm not. It, it's not that those look like shit. It's just aesthetically, I'm used to a different. Yeah, you're used to chrome. Yeah. So. See, they look normal in your truck. They do not look normal in there. That what the black ones? Yeah. That looks like 35s and 20s. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. Like but this? God damn. I see what you mean by the wheels though. I, I can see why you've been skeptical about the wheels the whole time. It's not I'm not skeptical about the wheels anymore. Now that I got the uh the other tires off, I like the wheels. It was the tires that I didn't like. I like the wheel and I like that it's open. The next wheel that I get is gonna be full chrome face though. Very, very little hole. I, I agree, I like that better. I agree with you. I like the big chrome, I like the plenty of it. I don't have brakes to show off, I got big feet, you know. Factory stock brakes, so. The width is uh... Fucking clean, buddy. Actually, will you close the tailgate so I can take a picture? Twenty six by sixteen KG one Arissos on some Furies. That's dumb clean. I would want bigger tires though. I love twenty sixes for the life of me, but damn. <laughs> I love 26s, I really do, but I'm I'm 99% sure that I'm going 24s, to be honest. I actually really thought about getting these from Jake. He actually might let me ride on them for the weekend. I just, I don't know if I wanna do that, to be honest, because then I gotta pay to fix them if I curb them, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm gonna be so scared all weekend riding around on these. You can't tell me they don't look good, though. They really do. Damn. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Do we ride out with the 26s? Do we make the trade? Let me know. It's time to stop playing around there. I'm, 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 sca I'm scared just having these wheels on my truck in general. So I'm going to take them back off and we're going to get on with the rest of the video. Let me know in the comments if you guys think I need to ride 26s or ride 24s. Damn, that's crazy though. Those wheels are for sale as fuck though. Those wheels, yeah, 100%. These are for sale. DM me, DM, DM Jake. Don't play games. If, if you have money in hand and you're ready to buy some wheels, let me know. I put those 26s on my truck the other day and took the weekend off. I didn't film much. And 
Huge shout out to Nick for coming through today. Nick need, needs an alignment. Very bad. Really needs an alignment, so he had to come through anyway. And I completely forgot that I told him to come on Tuesday. And bam, here he is. And has completely rewoken the beast. I've, I've been so unmotivated for the last 48 hours after I put the 26s on my truck. And this is just giving me life again. Nick has given me life again today. Shout out to Cade. Every time I get Dunkin' Donuts, I think of Cade. So Cade, I hope you're drinking Dunkin' Donuts. I hope your stomach hurts somewhere, wherever you're at right now, because my stomach's gonna hurt too. Does Dunkin' Donuts make your stomach hurt? I don't know if Dunkin' Donuts. It makes, it, sometimes it does, but it's funny. It just, it, you gotta be there, you gotta be there. Anyway, Nick's up here today. He, he's got his truck put all back together. Last time he came through here, it was, uh, what were we, on the way to Daytona? Yeah, on the way to Daytona. <laughs> we're on the way to Daytona and barely had the truck together. I had to leave early. I don't remember what the hell I was doing, but. We actually saw you leaving. We were at Summit and we were coming back and you were heading out through the highway. Really? Yeah. And then Alex. you guys were on the way back from Daytona and I saw you on the side of the road after you had just ran into a lady and that was funny. Al Al Alex shows up with a, a camera in your face and there, you know, there's no damage. Everything looks great. Everything's back together. I would have laughed really hard because I, I touched your bumper right there and I heard a little like noise. Mm -hmm. It would have been the funniest thing in my life if I touched the bumper and it just, just no, fell I'm, off onto I'm the ground. The <laughs> I make some sounds, but it's good. But you know, I always gotta, always gotta show love to my guy Nick when he comes through. This Illusion Money is one of the most beautiful colors I've ever seen. Uh, I'm a big fan, huge, huge fan. I'm a fan, really. It's loud as shit, stage four cam. It's, it's a beautiful truck, sounds great, looks great. It's fast as shit and as loud as shit too. And um, oh wow, did you have the did you have the Fox coilovers yeah. on there last time? Yep. They look a lot bright and shinier now. I don't know why. Oh, I cleaned it. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. First time it's been clean was like a day ago. It's drug money, isn't it? Yep. That looks good, man. That's a beautiful ass truck. It really is. I want to see when he pulls when he pulls out. Pulls out? You pull out like a couch. <laughs> I want to see, he put a 2015 style bumper on it. So I really want to see that. Yeah, I'll pull it out. So he's up here to get an alignment today. I kind of want to see the bumper. 24 by 16, fuel forged on 40s. Fucking awesome. It's about to be loud. I'm right by the exhaust too. Don't, wait, if you, don't do the train horn, please. It scares me. It scares me. It just, it honestly really, it really makes me laugh how fucking loud this truck is. Always. It really, it TV just, louder. it honestly just makes me laugh at how fucking obnoxiously loud this truck is. I love the color match Gen Y hitch too. Look, look how, you've only broken 13 necks? Just a few. You need to get those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers. Exactly. Those are rookie numbers. You need to get those numbers up. Oh, fuck. Ow, that fucking hurt. Nice God damn it. I got all that on camera too. You fucking, fucking bush. Fucking hurt, man. Poking me in the back of the leg. Came over here to look at a bumper, God damn it. I like that. That looks really good. It looks so much better. And it's the 2500 bumper. I need to put one of these on my, on my, on my cat eye. That'd be cool as shit. It's like, what, $300 off eBay? That's not bad, actually. And it's ready to be painted. You gonna uh, do it gloss black? Yeah. That looks really good. I'm not, like I'm. Be, I love the fucking truck, man. I really do. I don't care what nobody says. I love the truck. It's obnoxiously loud, dude. That's my favorite part. It's just way too loud for no reason. Stage four cam, all the extra stuff. Shout out to the sponsor today, Dunkin' Donuts. Drug money. Gotta, <laughs> gotta love it. You guys see us do a lot of nine inch lift kits, 10 inch lift kits, seven inch, eight inch. We actually got a seven inch over here that I'm gonna show you guys in just a minute. But I know a lot of you guys out there don't necessarily wanna do the big crazy nine inch, 26s, all that crap. This option right here is a great entry level, under $7,000. Really, it's a great daily driver setup. I know that's, I say that a lot of, about a lot of trucks, but this one, to be honest, fits that description perfectly. Six inch rough country, 20s, 35s under seven thousand dollars it's a great entry level setup rides great keeps the factory ride 
you're not gonna have any issues out of a setup like this. It looks great. It looks just like the rest of them rolling down the road. It's got a great presentation, great size to it. It's not too big. Somebody was actually asking me the other day, what's the size comparison of us? I mean, I'm not a big dude. I'm 5'10 on a good day. But somebody was actually asking me the other day, what's the size like but for us compared to these trucks? So I, obviously a nine inch lift and 35s like, like Jake's Tahoe, it's, it's not that much bigger. I mean, I'm what, about shoulder height to the bottom of the mirror on a nine inch with 35s. These new trucks sit a little bit higher and I'm actually, it's actually on an incline here. So, I mean, I'm just about shoulder width to the bottom of the mirror. This is six inches and 35s. I mean, I'm not a huge dude. Like I said, 5'10 on a good day, that's what it says. I, I, I like my 5'10. 5'10 on my license is what it says. Super easy to get into, come here. Especially if you got steps or if you got amps, if you want to spend that money, which you don't have to. It's super easy to get into, super easy to get out. You do got a little bit of a drop, but somebody was actually asking me about this in the comments, which is why I'm explaining this. So, great daily driver setup, under $7,000, 20s, 35, six inch lift. You get that big presentation. You're not throwing mud and shit all over the side of the truck. It's not stupid wide. Brand new truck, easy to get in and out. Nothing better. YouTube eats before I do. Got a little bit of little shrimp, sausage, potato action with the butter. A little bit of Chick-fil-A with the grilled nuggies. Gotta go grilled. And a big old sweet tea, a little bit of Powerade for when I'm feeling healthy afterwards. I, I eat a lot. Hate me for it. I'm about to tell you guys a story and I need you guys to see the truck with no grill and no front valence or no front upper bumper piece for this story to make sense. No grill, no valence bumper piece. Remember that. So some of you may or may not have seen on my Instagram yesterday that I got pulled over yet again. And <clears throat> this cop literally, this, this guy went for the, the whole rap sheet on me. He went for all of it. Super nice guy, and I want to tell you guys that it ended up being they, they ended up being all warnings. But he gave me the rap sheet. I mean, I'm playing, I'm playing cards over here right now. It's like this is ridiculous. So I go home and I showed you guys this clip because I need you to know what the truck looks like during this situation. One of my headlights has been out for a while, so I got a new bulb from Lighting Trends. Shout out to Christina. She gave me a new bulb for my birthday. I get home, I decide to go ahead and put it in. The bulb is the wrong, it's got a wrong connector on it, so I, you know, couldn't put it back, I couldn't put the new bulb in. So, long story short, I said, screw it, I'm going to call Lighting Trends tomorrow, I'm not putting all the grill and everything back together, I'm going to leave, leave it as is, okay? So, at this point, neither of my headlights work because I haven't connected everything. So, no grill, no upper bumper piece, no working headlights. Christina wanted something to eat, I hadn't eaten, it was 10 o'clock, 10.30, alright, Ride down the road to Taco Bell. I go to Taco Bell. This is what got me. This is what got me right here. I went to Taco Bell. They didn't put the right sauce on her quesadilla. Okay? You, you get paid to do a job, put the sauce on the quesadilla. It just needed some sauce. That's it. We needed sauce. This is all because of sauce. You fucking kidding me? So. The line was backed up at that Taco Bell, said screw it, I'm not going to that Taco Bell anymore. I'm driving 20 minutes down the road to go to a different Taco Bell. As I'm headed to that Taco Bell, what do I see behind me? Freaking cop lights, right? And I can, it's, it's funny because I saw the cop, you can tell which headlights are cop headlights, you can just tell, you know? And he had, didn't have his lights on, but he was right on my ass. And I knew what was about to happen, I absolutely knew it. And I didn't have my camera with me, so I got a quick little clip of, after I got pulled over on my phone that I'm going to insert here in a second. I saw him, I saw him sitting behind me, and I knew what was about to happen. As soon as I went to change lanes, I turned my blinker on, blue lights, got me, right? He pulls me over, he comes, hey, how's it going, blah, 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 you got no headlights on. Of course, of course, the one night that I try and fix my truck, try and do something productive, they send me the wrong bulb, they didn't put the sauce on the quesadilla, I get pulled over, and he tries to give me the wrap sheet the freaking wrap sheet. 
five, five. Now they're all warnings, they're all warnings. So I, I really got away. He was a nice guy, to be honest. He was, a, he was a super nice guy. So he wasn't being a dick or anything. But I got five warnings. It just, are you kidding? It's ridiculous. So I'm gonna insert a clip of me getting pulled over real quick so you guys can at least see the, the scene that I'm not lying, but it was on my Instagram. For those of you that, you know, follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me, you know, post a couple clips. This is what I get for trying to fix my headlight. I took the grill out and uh, I get pulled over. So, great way to end off the video, right? That's how, that's how my day's going. Pulled over, trying to fix my headlights. <sighs> my day is, uh, my day's going fantastic. Fantastic. Cops just fucking hate me right now, man. It's ridiculous. But we're out here getting this bread. We got some awesome trucks getting, you know, started today at the shop. It's an early morning. I'm waking up. I got my, my Dunkin' Donuts coffee from the gas station in the double cup, buddy. Double cup vibes, buddy. We're having a good time up here. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. If you guys like the 16 Wise, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know if I like them. I really, I really don't. I don't know. But let me know. I love you guys. Let's get this bread.